Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy from Go Sammy Joe, and today I just wanted to make a little video tutorial to show you guys how I did something on my iPad. I recently made a iPad customization video and I just filmed an iPad hacks video. And one of the things I really liked uh, that I did with my iPad that I didn't do with my iPhone was how I created these custom icon folders without using shortcuts. So they're custom so they kind of, you can make them look like whatever you want. But the whole reason I decided not to do shortcuts is because there's a bit of a lag with it and that just that drives me crazy if there's a lag every time I go to do something I will not be happy so I found this on it on the internet through this one video I linked it before in a previous video but I thought I've had a lot of people ask me about it so I'm going to make my own version of that video and show you what I did uh, with it too to break it down even more because some people still are asking me how I did it I thought I'd have a video like that on my channel to help you guys out of course I will link the original video down below I did it already on my iPad I love that's one thing I do with my iPad I don't have a ton of apps on it so I made all of the apps I do have look very simplistic and nice and I really like how it turned out on here so I've actually done my whole iPad already um, but um, to show you start from finish I thought it'd be cool to do it on my iPhone since I have not done it at all on there so that you can see the process of downloading this thing that I'm going to be showing you um, too but you can use this for your iPad or for your iPhone as well so before we get into this video if you are new here please uh, leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe and check out my channel I do a lot of different tech videos but also lifestyle and a lot I love doing different customization videos with my tech my life everything so if you're new here make sure to subscribe and check it out I will link different playlists down below okay so let's get into it I'm sure I'm gonna have a screen recording of some point of what my iPad looks like so you can see it better but here's a little scroll through as you can see I've got a nice pretty uh, uh, neutral background and then uh, I made all my apps either like a light pinkish or a beige a uh, color so um, this is how my iPad turned out and we're gonna do uh, something similar or I'm just gonna walk you through how to do it on my phone since um, you kind of have to see how you download um, this um, uh, shortcut that I'm going to do with you guys as you can see um, for the most part everything opens up really quickly there's no lag at all the only time that there might be the slightest lag at all is when you have one of these icons for the Apple apps like your FaceTime, your messages, stuff like that. So if I go to FaceTime, slightest little lag there for that, but I don't FaceTime a whole lot. I don't text a whole lot. Most of the time that I'm on my iPad, I am on here for like YouTube or Pinterest. Okay, so we're going to start screen recording on my phone now. And as you can see, I mainly do have things in folders here. I do have my widgets, but um, let's, uh, for my Weight Watchers app, that we're, let's make one of these custom things for there. So first thing that you... Okay, so we're going to start screen recording. So before we do anything, we have to go to your settings, and then we want to go down to shortcuts. And you want to toggle on this little um, toggle that says allow untrusted shortcuts. Allow. Your passcode. Okay. Okay. Then you want to go to Google and you want to look up something called Icon Theme Room. Okay. So one of the first things that comes up is the Reddit. Also, I think Routine Hub. See, I think we click the routine hub one. Okay, and then you click get shortcut. Okay, icon themer, you go all the way down to the bottom. And add entrusted shortcut. Continue. Sure, we're going to replace it. Okay, so then it's going to show up to find it once you've uh, done it. It will be with your shortcuts. So you look up, you know, shortcuts. There it is. 
Okay. Um, so it'll be in the top corner here. So from there, what do we do? So before we can actually go and add these things, we want to create the icons that we want to use. So uh, what I like to do is I like to go to Pinterest and I usually look up whatever app I'm looking for um, and I put like icon next to it and then whatever color I want for it. You can also make your own and there's also people that sell them in bulk of different app icons and stuff too but I just do Pinterest. So let's do WW app icon aesthetic. Okay, so as you can see, these are like different ones that you can buy from people, but we... Okay, so here's a perfect one. I ended up searching app icon aesthetic food, because this is a food tracking app. So what you're going to do, you're going to collect whatever photo or whatever image that you like. You're going to go to the three corners in the bottom and then hit download image. Awesome. So we download the image. So... You want, you'll want to do that for all the apps that you want to do. I'm just doing this one app to show you as an example. Let's go back to shortcuts. Okay, so when you're in shortcuts, you'll see the icon themer. You're going to hit the three dots in the corner of the little blue icon themer box. And then you're going to hit the play button in the bottom corner. So then a little thing is going to come up it, and it says either search an app store, system apps. So for apps like photos, camera, um, your, the health one that's built in, all, uh, settings, all of those apps are going to be under system apps. And you can just look them up under there. But this is an app from the app store. So we're going to go... Um, we're gonna so we're gonna go and search for it so we're gonna type in weight watchers Done. okay and there it is right up there so from there you want to choose your photos so it's going to take you to your photo library We'd like to access your photos, okay. And this is the one that we want to use. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and click done. Okay, and you can do multiple at a time, but I only do one because sometimes this thing, whatever you call it, a shortcut, gets overwhelmed and it crashes. So I've been only doing mine one at a time. So I'm going to go and create my icons. We're going to put WW. Done. Install profile allow profile downloaded close okay so I got something saying that I need to review it in my settings um, I don't know if this always happens so go to general and then go down to profile WW okay there we go and then you can go ahead and click install you're gonna put your passcode install again and hit done and I believe that should be it. Yep, and there it is. So we're going to drag this to where Weight Watchers is right now. Okay, so we should be able to click on it and it goes right to Weight Watchers. Awesome. So that was our first time, so it was a little glitchy. So let's see if we can do it for another app quick, which is a little quicker. Let's just do a fun one. We'll do Instagram quick, okay? So we're going to go back to shortcuts. Okay. So hopefully this time is a little easier because that was just our first time doing it. So I want to make sure that we get this down for science for you guys. So go to the three dots, play button. I don't have a photo for Instagram, but you guys get the point. Uh, search in App Store. We'll hit Instagram. Done. Click Instagram. Okay. 
Okay, choose from photos. For the sake of keeping this video going, we're just going to use the same one I used for Weight Watchers because I'm going to end up deleting this anyway. Instagram, done. Create my icons. Done. Install profile. Allow. Review the profile in settings app if you want to install it. Okay, so this is slightly different than my iPad. So every time you do this, once you get to this point, you're going to have to follow these settings where you go to your settings. So you're going to have to go to your settings, then you're going to go to general, and then you're going to go down to profiles. And now uh, the Instagram icon one is now showing up there, and you want to click install, your passcode, install, done. Okay, and there's Instagram now. So I want to do just a quick run through for you guys on my iPad, quick too, just in case there's people that are specifically looking for the iPad and how to do it on there. Okay, so I already have all of my apps done so that they look like this, but we'll just do a random one so that you guys can see what it looks like. So we're going to go to our shortcuts. So icon themer, you're going to go to the little... Um, three dots and then you're gonna press the play button in the top corner it's on the top corner on here which is a little different compared to the iPhone we're not gonna update it now just because I've had it for a while so we're gonna search in the app store app store um, I just did snap seed the other day okay, so we're gonna search snap seed there it is choose from photos okay <laughs> don't mind the screenshot of my face um, so uh, we're going to use this little photo icon right up here snapseed done create my icons snap i'm just going to ask you really don't need a bright if you don't want to okay so we're going to install on my device allow okay close so this is where it's different with the iPad. Um, you don't go to your settings. It uh, asks you to please accept the prompt below and click here. And then it takes you to your settings for you, which is why it's a little bit different. Okay, so install, do your passcode, install, install, and I believe that's it. I made a snap seed the other day over here, but I also just put the same one right over here then. Okay, so that is how to create custom icons for your iPad or for your iPhone without the lag. So I hope this video is helpful uh, to some of you that were curious. Um, I like how my iPad looks with it. I don't know if I would do it to my whole phone because I just have a ton of apps and I kind of like keeping them in folders. I think it's nice how you can design your screen a little bit better and make it more aesthetically pleasing to look at. It makes you a little bit happier when you do it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment down below if you have any questions, let me know. And please subscribe and check out more of my videos. I'd love for you to stick around here and hang out with us. So, all right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.